Jim McConnell, McConnell Labs, manufacturers of Light Elegance nail products. We're on Chemist Corner. Welcome back. Chemist Corner number five today, we're talking about what is rubber base. So rubber base is a new-ish type of product. I have two examples of rubber base that one is supplied from China. One is uh, I picked up when I was in Italy. And another one is one that we formulated ourselves to see what the big deal is. First thing I learned is that rubber base has absolutely nothing to do with rubber. So <laughs> I'm going to check the Chinese one here first. That one of the tests that we do in the lab, and we do it all the time, every day, is that we'll actually make little plastic films of what the product is. So we'll take the gel, we'll go ahead and brush it onto a form, and you can do this yourself. Um, just using a form, whatever gel, and you make yourself a film of it. In chemist corner number four, we talked about what uh, the cure thicknesses is and measuring that cure thickness, maximum cure thickness. And we made little pieces of film, white pieces of plastic. So we're going to do the same thing with this, but we're going to do it with the rubber base. So we're going to go ahead and cure that rubber base and then activate the light. And in this case here, we're going to cure for 30 seconds. And what we're going to do after curing for 30 seconds, we're going to pull it out, clean it off so we don't have any sticky product on our fingers. And then we're going to go ahead and see how tough that film is. So toughness is a combination between elongation and tensile strength. So the stronger, the tougher, uh, the more it'll stretch to a certain degree, also the tougher that film is. When you put down a film on top of your fingernails, you want that to be fairly tough. You don't want it to fail quickly. So we are done curing. I'll reach in and I'll pull out my film. And then again, wipe, cleanser, has a little sticky layer, so we gotta remove that sticky layer. And then in some of these cases, I take the centerpiece of the form and peel it off. That thing just snapped. It has zero strength whatsoever. And then if I peel that little piece off the form, I can finally get, with enough perseverance, I can get the film to come off. This is the film. That's the little piece that broke off. And I can bend it, and it bends pretty easily, but there's no strength to it whatsoever. So when I talk about rubber base, this is one of the products that came from China that we're referring to. Uh, if I were the customer and I bought that from China, I'd be really upset. So that's just me. It's up to you to find out what works for you and what doesn't work for you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm telling you things that can help you understand more about the products it is that you use. So in this case here, this is a rubber base from a company that is in Italy. Um, and it, the company is called Nail Over. And this is something that uh, I picked up from their booth. So I put it onto the form, put the brush back in, put that back in. We're going to go ahead and cure it for 30 seconds and see what the, what the film formation is of this material. And then this is one that I made. Now, some of the, one of the things I've noticed with the rubber bases that are on the market right now, some of them are very, very thin. Some are a little bit thicker. Some have more elongation. Some have less elongation. Some have various levels of strength. And it's up to you to figure out what you want to do with it. So the Italian material is done. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to put our experimental material in there. Go ahead and cure that. While we're waiting for that to cure, I'll go ahead and clean off the sticky layer. So I did the exact same thing I did with the other material. But in this case, the film that was formed had much more integrity to it. Again, I wouldn't say it's rubbery by any means, but it does have more strength than the Chinese material does. And I, if I try and stretch it, it does not feel like rubber. It doesn't behave like rubber in the slightest. But it does have more integrity than the cheap Chinese stuff.
the cheap Chinese stuff may have really good adhesion to the fingernail, but I wouldn't call it rubber base. I wouldn't call it rubbery in the slightest. So again, here's our experimental material. Clean off the sticky layer. Again, good integrity. This, this material is very, very clear. And it's a little bit more rubbery than the Italian material. It has a little bit more elongation to it. It has more toughness. Um, both of which I think would perform quite well in the salon, but I think that our product is going to perform better. I am partial. So anyway, so that's what rubber base is. And it has absolutely nothing to do with rubber and it's not elongate, it does not have elongation to it at all. If you have any other questions, go ahead and email us, give us a phone call, get a hold of us on social media. Again, Jim McConnell, McConnell Labs, manufacturers of light elegant snail products, and this is Chemist Corner. Thank you.